Good morning, people. Carla Nicole. Uh, <laughs> so, I wanted to come on here this morning because I just want to kind of give you guys a little um, insight, if you will, about fantasies, okay? Not going to be long, but this is just something that's pondering on my heart and soul, so I just want to put it out there real fast about fantasies. So, um, you know, I was just listening on the radio about, you know, how um, a lady, young lady wants to um, invite another partner into her bedroom with her, with her, uh, her mate. And, um, you know, she was going on and on about how, you know, she wants to do this and everything. And, and he's not really down with it. He's not really um, into the fantasy like she is or whatever, what have you. And so it made me kind of ponder on it for a minute because, you know, fantasies are what they are. But sometimes, get this because this is very important. Sometimes fantasies need to remain fantasies. Why? Why do fantasies need to remain fantasies? Because fantasies are perfect. <laughs> okay? Fantasies are perfect. Listen, when we desire certain things in our fantasies, when we are when we are just uh imagining our perfect world, when we're imagining our perfect relationship, when we're imagining our perfect mate, we spend a lot of time thinking about wonderful things in the fantasy we don't think about at all do we think about if i invite another woman in my bedroom that it's going to affect my relationship we don't in a negative way we don't think about that part when we think about i want to get married we want to have the comforts of life right we want to have that husband that takes care of us and gets us all this fabulous stuff and i'm driving in a benz and i'm i've got all this beautiful stuff we don't think about the reality part, do we? So I want to talk about this because I think it's very, very, very important. I'm putting all relationships under the gun. Every one of them. I'm talking about friends with benefits. I'm talking about marriage. I'm talking about situationships. I'm talking about open relationships, polyamory. I'm talking about all of them. I'm not talking about just one. Because all of them I'm going to put under the gun this evening, this morning. What I want us to think about is in those relationships. I don't care which one I mentioned. I could talk about situationships. I could talk about relationships. I could talk about marriage. I could talk about any of them. And none of them are perfect. Zero are perfect. None of them. I don't care which ones try to tell you, well, you should try this because this works. One is not better than the other. They are all different. They are all, <clears throat> excuse me, they are all under a different rule or a different um understanding but understand there's people involved here okay so when you have certain things in a relationship so that means if i have another person come in my bedroom or and, and my my significant other is not down with this arrangement it could pose problems but because in your fantasy, you're so drummed up and re really wanting to do this fantasy that you don't give a damn about his feelings or you don't give a damn about her feelings. It's all about you, right? But understand when we do something like this, it can cause a chaos in the relationship. When you're married and you want to open it up, okay, that's fine, well and dandy. But do you understand that changing that dynamic that you came into it with requires some serious thinking, some serious planning, some serious understanding, and the partners you're choosing has to be under the same understanding or there's going to be a lot of problems. I don't care what relationship it's in. If you decide, listen, I don't, there's no man out here that's really wanting to get down with me. So I'm going to go ahead and have a sexual relationship with my best friend or my, my male friend that still can require issues. None of it's perfect. I don't care what you do, but in the fantasy, hear me in the fantasy, it's beautiful. It's perfect. It's wonderful. Yes. Okay. But in the fantasy, you're not implementing what issues can come into it wonderful to want to be married but do you understand what it takes to stay married because marriage is not the easiest component to be in we want ladies i'm gonna pick on us now 
We want the man to have all these accolades. We want him to have the Escalade. We want him to have a beautiful home to provide us. We want him to give us protection. We want him to do this, do that. Make sure he's got our, our. we, we want the black car, right? We want to be able to buy endless, limitlessly. We want all of these things. But do you understand that the most saddened, loneliest women are the ones that are sitting in the mansions because their man's not there? It requires a man to be busy. It requires a man to get on it. He's got to be purposeful. He's got to have a drive about him. He's got to travel. You want all the accolades, but do you understand what it takes for a man to have that kind of wealth? Nine times out of ten, you're not going to see that man. You're not. He is busy. So we want all the beautiful stuff. All the beautiful uh, 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 comforts, but we don't understand it takes a lot of energy time. And, and, and you have to understand that if you want all these fabulous things, I want a man with wealth. I want him to have a good job and all that. Understand that requires a lot of stuff that he won't be there. <laughs> to keep you entertained or, or to, you know, massage your attention. He's not going to be there like that. Not a man that's got to be busy and be on his grind. The man is going to be gone from you. But you want that though, right? We always want everything in the fantasy. We want a, we want a, a, a tall, dark, and handsome man, right? Do you all know tall, dark, and handsome man, men come in all kinds of shapes and sizes? No, they're not all tall, dark, and handsome, but they are handsome. Guess what that brings on? That brings on other women desiring your man. And now he might be a, ma a, a man that's a magnet with women. And guess what? Now you got issues with why you got these women liking you. You picked them. Like we, we don't think about that stuff. I want a man that's gorgeous. Okay, that comes with a price. Everything we do, man, we want all these accolades, but we're not sitting down and really paying attention to what it costs us. I want a woman in my room, in my bedroom with me and my man because I want to give him a gift. Understand though, what if that girl is a better lover than you? What if he starts hitting her up on the low and they're having relationship and now you mad? What you mad for? You invited her in there? Just stuff that's just ironically crazy. Like y'all want to do all this stuff. Okay, that's fine. Whatever your choice is, you want to do, believe me, I am all about relationships and all about those that are working. I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the relationships that we are spending time in wanting to desire to have them. But then we're not looking at what is the flip side of that fiery desire and that fiery fantasy. What is the flip side to it? You feel me? What is it? Okay, I want comforts. I want this. I want that. Do you understand fantasy should sometimes just remain a fantasy? I want two men in my bedroom. Do you understand what that takes to do all that? Do you understand that that's a lot on a woman? Do you understand a lot of penetration on a woman after a while becomes quite a bit physically, sexually? You want to satisfy two men? It's a lot to satisfy one man. Y'all want to bring in two men in the bedroom. Really? Are y'all sure? We have to be honest with ourselves. We got to look at the truth about the fantasy. Listen, we spend countless hours drumming up how we desire to want to be married but do y'all know it's work man this is not just i want to be married and everything's going to be beautiful my husband's going to come in he's going to show up he's going to protect me some of these husbands are losing their jobs so guess what the comforts that you want so bad may not be there after you have him for a while and you know everything's going well jobs fail things happen so now, oh, he's no longer your fantasy man now. So what are you going to do? Oh, well, I, you know, I just don't want him no more. No, that's not what relationships are about. You want to sleep with your friend because you ain't got no other man around. That's fine. But do you know what that can do to your friendship? All this stuff that I'm talking about, I'm putting all relationships under the gun because I'm not the one to just sit here and be judgmental about relationships. I'm not the girl. I'm not that girl. But what I am trying to get y'all to understand is some fantasies need to remain a fantasy. And we need to make sure that we are mindful at all times about, hold on. If I do that, let me look at this from all sides. 
Because if you want to have a polyamorous relationship or you want to be open in your relationship, that's fine if it works. But understand, the more people and personalities in your relationship requires more work. What I mean by work is you're now having to manage what is okay and what is not okay. I think we just don't really understand the gravity. Are some open relationships working? Absolutely. And they're working fine. And there's no issues. Okay, I get that. But what about the ones that aren't working? We're not talking about them. We're not talking about the ones that aren't working. But let's, let's be honest here. There's some relationships that aren't working. There's marriages not working. So marriage isn't for everybody. All these women out here desiring to be a, a wife. But do you know what it takes to be one? I mean, we got to sit down and think about that. Do you know what it takes to be a wife? Do you know what it takes to be a husband? Yeah, and I'm seeing brothers out here. I'm not, hey, listen, I'm not just going at the women now. I'm talking to gent, gents too. Y'all want a wife as well, but you don't want a wife. Listen, y'all want a wife that is on the straight and narrow. She's a good woman. You know, that's what y'all say, right? I want a good woman at home. Okay, but do you know what it takes to keep that good woman sustained? Do you know that? I mean, the woman of today is not the woman in your mom's era. Good women today are about their own passions and about their own focus. Are you, are you really truly ready to be with a good woman? Do you know what a good woman consists of? Do you know that a good woman may be attractive to other men? Are you ready for that? Husbands is not always happy and joyous and happy to be married. A lot of husbands, you pull them to the side, they're, they're, they're furious. They're, 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 they're confused. They're frustrated because they're not sure that their wives, what their wives want. So we got to see past all this. We got to get past the fantasy. We got to look at what it really is out here. Look at both sides of the coin. Don't always think that, oh, my fantasy is showing me that, you know, uh, you know, that I am, um, a, you know, my fantasy showing me that it's going to be wonderful. Yes, all fantasies are wonderful. Do you know of a fantasy that's not wonderful? When you go in your fantasies, and let's be honest, when we go into our fantasies and look at our fan fantastical life, aren't we looking at only the beauty of it? I would love to have a husband. I would love to have a wife. But do you know what it takes to keep one? Do you know what it, do you know the work it is? I mean, we got to look at this for real talk. We got to look at what it takes to be a husband and a wife. You want that so bad. Or let, I just want, I just want to be out here and I just want to have different women. I don't want no relationship. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. No Relationship. You good, you don't, you don't need no relationship. Okay, I get that too. But there is a downside and a flip side to not having a relationship. Do you know what those are? I mean, this is, I'm just coming at every angle. Situationships, I'm talking about marriages, I'm talking about polyamory, I'm talking about open. All that stuff is cool and everything. The labels are all right, but understand, there's a flip side to that. Whatever arrangement it is. So... What do we do in that case? How do we go about fixing or understanding what we need to do? We need to look at ourselves And understand that sometimes in the fantasy, it looks really good. And it does. But we need to see past just the fantasy. We need to understand that we're involving other people. We're involving other personalities. We're having more people come in the relationship whether it is just one or multiple people. And with that said, with that additional person or those additional people coming into the relationship, what happens? There's another personality to now be accountable for, to be obligated to, to care about. And that's not always going to be beautiful and, 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 and gorgeous and pretty. Not always. So we have to stop looking at it from a perspective of everything has to be pretty. Everything has to be wonderful. Everything has to be gorgeous. No, that's not reality. We got to get out of the fantasy and look at reality. Try to look at reality and don't get so overwhelmed that you're shutting down wanting a relationship. Do you understand people? When you shut down not desiring a relationship, you're passing up people that are good people that maybe could be ideal for you to have one. With. Talk about that though, right? We don't want to talk about how the desire 
will be awesome to be in a relationship because we are seeing outside of that. So we don't want to we don't want to embrace those th that thinking because we're only in our state of thinking, our state of mind. So as long as we're I, when, 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 as long as we're in our state of mind, we're only going to see it our way. I just wanted to come out here and let y'all know fantasies sometimes need to remain just a fantasy. Fantasies are not always something that you need to bring to life because some of those fantasies can destroy lives. It can destroy relationships. It can destroy, you know, um, people. I mean, you can't always just bring up and bring out all fantasies that you desire in your mind. <laughs> some of it is just meant to be in your mind to enjoy. And that is it. Because you don't know how it's going to affect other people. You just don't know. So I just thought I'd come out here and say that. I know that a lot of people may not want to hear it. But I wanted to be honest with you guys. I want you to understand that fantasy sometimes needs to just remain a fantasy. We can't always bring this stuff to life, man. It's not for everybody. And if your man or your mate is saying, I don't want it, stop trying to influence them to want it. Because you might be influenced to do something, influencing that person to do something. It destroys your relationship. And now you're miserable and so are they. Now you lost a good thing because you wanted to have this fantastical sexual experience. Sex, These different sexual experiences is not for everybody. It's not. Being alone is not for everybody. Being married is not for everybody. Having a situation ship is not for everybody. It's not. It's every shoe doesn't fit everybody. But we get so caught up in the labels. Well, I want our open relationship so I can be with different people. Okay, but do you know what it takes to be in one? Have you talked to anybody? Have you interviewed people? Have you read anything? Have you desired to really sit down and talk to the people that's going to give it to you raw? Because this stuff is not just, oh, I'll do it and it'll be perfect. That's not how it works. See, this is why so many relationships look like this. Because we spend a lot of time only thinking about the good and not paying attention to the flip side of it not being so good. So be mindful. It's okay to be open to different understandings and, 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 and being exposed to those things. That's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Educate yourself. Absolutely. But understand, you also need to, if it's something you're considering, you better sit down with somebody that's already in it. That's going to give it to you raw, straight with no chaser. This is what I have to tell you. Because we don't want to sit in here and say, I want marriage. And you don't know no married people to give it to you raw. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know a lot of people married that are miserable. Okay? I know a lot of married people that are not. They've been married for years and still get along. But it's not for everybody. Marriage is not for everybody. We need to get off of it. Sometimes we need to sit down and learn what is it we really desire. And I'm not talking about the labels either. Stop getting all caught up in I want this kind of relationship. Just learn you. And when you learn what you desire and get off of what you so desire is based off of this fitting. It changes the game because you don't know what you may be. What may be a better fit for you. Pay attention. There's all kinds of alternative relationships out here. But if we really don't take the time to look and understand it then it's like no nah, man you got to get past that you know we got to get okay we'll just go ahead and we'll sit down and we will um we will en enjoy it together but a lot of times um we don't we don't understand the the gravity of these different relationships without you know um only seeing the beauty of them and there's beautiful marriages yes there's beautiful situationships, yes. There's beautiful FWB relationships, absolutely. Beautiful polyamorous relationships, beautiful open relationships that are working fine, yes. But it's not for everybody. We got to stop thinking everything is for us. Take your time. Spend time studying yourself first before you try to implement all these other people. Yeah, come on in. I want to do this. And you have done no studying. I'm not even just talking about studying you. Have you studied the person you're interested in? Have you taken the time to relate with each other, to get to know each other, to see how they handle the, uh, you know, different, di different differences of opinion? Have you, have you taken the time out to understand that? We just jump in stuff and we don't even, you feet first and don't really take the time to say, wait a minute, maybe this isn't what I necessarily need or want. 
But maybe there's something else that maybe is more for me. No, we just jump head first or feet first. And then we're regretting it. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. Be honest with you, man. Stop getting all caught up in the labels out here. Because there's so many labels, I can't even keep up with them. I know there's situationships, there's friends with benefits, there's open relationships. There's all kinds of different dynamics that you can get involved in. But don't only look at it from a beautiful fantasy. Look at it, uh, I mean, look at it through a realistic eye. Sit down and talk to those that's already involved in this kind of stuff. Learn about it. Because you don't know if it's a good settled fit for you or not. And there's downsides to all relationships. I don't care what they're out, which one you choose or pick. None of them are going to be perfect. There might be a better fit for you. But none of them are perfect. I don't care which one you pick. And maybe the, the people that uh, are trying to fight for marriage and stuff may not be happy with what I'm saying. But I'm just being honest. There's a lot of people married and miserable. So it's not working perfectly either. So we just got to be, re we got to be realistic here. And so with that said, um, just think about these things, man. We got to quit trying to be, you know, because stuff is trendy. A lot of stuff is trendy, especially when you're talking about relationships. Um, you know, it's trendy to do certain things or, or, or get involved with certain things. But you got to sit down and look at what's the best fit for you in your life. Don't get so caught up in the trends because trendy things work for a while and then they come easily crumbling down. So don't get all caught up in the trends, but pay attention to what is a good fit for yourself, but learn you first and don't get so alone that you don't, you're not even open to a relationship. I don't want no relationship. I don't want no relationship. Well, you're just as bad as someone desiring a relationship because that's on the other side of the spectrum. Give yourself time to learn you. But don't don't just shut yourself off to to relationship. That's silly too. So I'm out of here. Listen, I, I know I'm running my mouth, but I want to also address who said something. Um, Serenity said truth. Uh, appreciate you, sis. And then Pamela said, yes, there are always sacrifices and you must be realistic. Exactly. So if we're not realistic, you know, we're not really looking at the situation that we are considering getting or, or relationship dynamic that we're considering getting in without being educated and understanding of self first, understanding of your partner or your partner second, and learning, is this going to be harmonious or is this going to be tumultuous? I mean, who wants to be in a situation that you're always miserable in? It doesn't matter if it's with one person or multiple people. Who wants that? But we don't see that in the fantasy. But sometimes that's what you get. You get a miserable person that looks great in the beginning. And then they just, the misery comes. And it's like, what in the hell? And why are you here acting a fool? And I thought you were going to be, you know, a part of my peace. Not a part of my misery. And they're just a miserable spirit. So we got to take our time. We can't just jump in and say, oh, I'm in a relationship right now. But I want to change it to this. And not be considerate. That you got somebody else in the relationship. Or a, quite a few of other people in the relationship. Because, you know, we're all talking about how great everything is marriage-wise. But there's so, the divorce rate is high. Then we're talking about how wonderful and joyous open relationships are. But then what if one ends up saying in the open relationship they just want to be with you? Then what happens? The dynamic changes, right? So I guess that won't be so great anymore either. So again, we got to really sit down. And be honest with self and not get so caught up in the trends. All right. So I'm out of here. I know I kind of rambled on for a minute, but I just want to let y'all know some fantasies need to remain that. And we not we need to not get so caught up in all these other labels. Learn you. Learn what works for you. Be honest with you. Take your time to get involved in whomever you're going to be with or those that you want to be with. And understand that whatever decision you make, be it married, be it single, whatever, it comes with a cost. I don't care what decision you make. Either way, you're going to have a price to pay. Whether you're single, whether you're married, whether you're in a situation, whatever. There's a price. So are you willing to pay it? That's what you got to look at. You got to look at it from a very realistic point of view. All right. I'm Carla Nicole. If you want to hit me up on the inbox and talk to me about this, hey, 
I'm open to that. Also, uh, I have a show coming on live on Sunday. I'm going to talk about, um, what is my topic this Sunday? Da, 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 da. I don't know. Can't remember right now. Live with Carla Nicole, hashtag, and you can see all of that. Um, oh, self-exploration. So how do we explore self? I'm going to be discussing that on Sunday. So join me here live, 12 o'clock noon on Sunday. And that's what we're going to talk about um, then. But listen, you know, relationships are cool, but we also have to be mindful that relationships um, cannot be overlooked or, or be so um, deadening in our spirit that we can't enjoy them because it's so much headache. It's so much uh, aggravation. There's so much going on that we just are truly um, just discouraged. We have to learn to, in, in, you know, get to the point where like, okay, I, you know, being in this uh, relationship dynamic is enhancing my life, whichever one you choose. But if it's not, then it's not for you. All right. It's Carla Nicole signing off. Best kept. Have a great morning. Bye.